respect. You know, I hope your day's coming along well so far, and I hope you have a good remaining day. Be safe and protect your energy. Respectfully, like, comment, subscribe. You know, sometimes in life we come across people or, you know, we're dealt a certain unfair share hand, we may say, but sometimes it may be our blessing in disguise. You know, like, you may be the one who got overlooked or you may be the one who someone gave up on you, you know, and you was disrespected in the process because, you know, you were unworthy of yourself at a young age and you was just trying to find yourself, you know. Your innocence was taken from you for you allowing yourself to be your authentic self and you didn't know how to express yourself, you know. You know how somebody plays in your face and try to psych you out of your thought process and allow you to feel like, hey, your thought process does not matter. Don't nobody give a fuck about you. You will believe that. When someone feeds you words of negative, like you're unworthy of yourself, you're, you're stupid, you're dumb, you're retarded, you start to believe that you are because you're being brainwashed. And especially when you endured it at a young age, you know, being bullied, not just being bullied, but dealing with it from individuals that were supposed to protect you. And I say this respectfully, you know, just because somebody allowed you to feel you was unworthy of yourself or allowed you to feel like, you know what? I don't wanna be here anymore because you make me feel like this. Don't ever allow someone to psych you out of your thought process because at the end of the day, they're miserable. Never allow someone to psych you out of your thought process because you genuinely love yourself in a healthy way because they're miserable. Never allow someone to psych you out of your freedom because they're miserable. Your life matters. Your life matters. Your life matters. Your life matters. Don't get discouraged because at the end of the day, when all those people are gone, living a life and doing what they doing at the end of the day, you still got to live for you. You still got to show up for you. And the only way to be able to show up for you is allowing your best self vision to show up and have awareness within yourself that, you know, to say to yourself is, you know what? I got to be patient with myself. I got to be kind to myself. I have to acknowledge at the end of the day, yeah, I was treated like this, but I don't want to be like this. You know, it's okay to accept your music for what it is. You were hurt. You were disrespected. Regardless to how old you was, it happened. It happened, it happened, it happened. You can't beat yourself up no more. Nah, because when them people dead, long, and gone, you need to be able to show for yourself in a healthy way. So at the end of the day, fuck anybody's thought process of you at the end of the day who thought you was unworthy of yourself, who thought you they didn't see no potential within you. But everybody else saw potential in you. You even saw potential in you that you can be your best self vision of yourself. So check this out. When you get discouraged or when someone's thought process is being projected on you negatively, it's okay to reevaluate yourself and say, you know what? I got to protect my energy today. I got to show up for myself today. And I'm going to show up for myself today. And I don't give a fuck who don't like it. As long as I know I don't have malicious intentions to bring harm towards nobody or myself, I ain't disrespecting nobody within my process at the end of the day to show up for myself at the end of the day. So why does it bother anybody? Because they're miserable. They're jealous of you. They're envious of you. They want your life. Because you know why? Today you're standing up for yourself. You're showing up for yourself. Fuck depression. Fuck anxiety. Fuck it. It don't live here no more. It don't fucking exist. Nah, fuck that. That shit is a disease. Within a fucking disease. And that shit is disgusting. Because it's stopping you from showing up for, as your best self vision. You feel me? Who wants to live like that? I know the fuck I don't. <laughs> no. You know how it feels to realize at the end of the day, all these fucking people who try to suck out of your fucking thought process, your freedom at the end of the day, allow you to feel unworthy of yourself because they feel like they can control you at the end of the day. You know, when they live in their lives at the end of the day, when they move on and carry along with their life or whatever the case may be, 
You got to be stuck to deal with yourself. So how we do better for ourselves? How do we show up for ourselves? Without allowing somebody's thought process at the end of the day continue to allow us to feel, you know what? Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. I want to show for myself today. I want to show for myself in a healthy way. And I understand I got to be patient with myself. And I understand I got to be kind to myself. And I understand I got to respect my neighbor within my process at the end of the day. As long as I ain't got malicious intentions to bring harm towards anyone or myself in a situation, in a vibe versus situation, I could respect my neighbor. I could respect my neighbor. <laughs> it's okay to come out your comfort zone when you're ready. Never on their timing. It's never their timing. And never forget, when you start your healing process at the end of the day, it starts with you. Not when somebody wants you to start it. But when you're genuinely ready. Because it's a mental thing with you. For you to show up for yourself. And be patient with yourself within your process. And never forget this. Your healing process will never be an overnight process. It would never be an overnight process. Never. So never allow someone inside like of your thought process and tell you otherwise. That when you start healing, regardless if you feel fine today, after dealing with yourself or whatever the case may be, it's a process within a process. To understand at the end of the day, I started something and I got to continue to show up for myself in a healthy way. It's not a crime. It's not a crime to love yourself. And it's not a crime to have boundaries. And it's not a crime to allow the devil to know at the end of the day, like, yo! You fucking can't get in. Hello! Fuck out of here. <laughs> it's just that simple. Because why? Hello, devil. I'm too busy loving myself. Yo, devil, leave me alone. Yo, devil, return back to sender. Like I said, this page ain't for everybody, and that's okay. But I'm going to continue to protect my energy, and so should you. Respectfully. And I mean, not with that mask on. Trying to be down because everybody else is healing. Nah, don't be fake. Be real with yourself at the end of the day. Because hmm, you got a lot of work to do. You got a lot of work to do. But it starts with you. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Now you genuine love, respect. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. Never allow someone to suck up your thought process because they're miserable. Never allow someone to suck up your freedom because they're miserable. Never allow someone to suck up your thought process because you genuinely love yourself in a healthy way because they're miserable. Loving yourself is not a crime. Loving yourself is not a crime. It's not a crime. Mm -mm. Only a hate and disguise will allow you to feel otherwise because they're not happy within themselves. And that's so crazy. It's okay. Like, it's it's okay. They will be okay. Trust me. They will be fine. Protect your energy. The only way to entertain that miserable person is to acknowledge them. <laughs> love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Now you genuine love and respect. I hope you have a good remaining day. <laughs>